My decision is final. But Uncle Wolf, won't your boss be angry? <laughs> Henry? I got him wrapped around my little finger. Or toe, or whatever this thing is. Watch. Henry, hi! Listen, you don't really like season finales, right? Oh, you do? Oh, because I've just canceled the finale. <laughs> Why no finale? <laughs> well, it's very simple. See, the Fetchers found the Golden Fetchy statue on Game Show Island, but then it was stolen by an evil cat organization called Purrs. It turns out the Fetchy's actually a brainwashing device. Next time, go get it. The Cat Game Show airs. The Fetchy will make the millions of people watching think they're cats. So that's how Purrs is going to take over the world. Now Glenn, along with Blossom, have tracked the Fetchy to the secret aquatic location of Purrs headquarters. So that's where I've sent the Fetchers, and that's why there's no finale. Because we have to prevent a nation of cat zombies. Like I said, pretty simple. Have the grand finale or else... They've reached the location. Ooh, there they are. But where are they? Water country? Purrs has hidden their Go Get It Studio P headquarters in a water park? Uncle Wuff, a water park is the perfect hiding place for Purrs headquarters. Fetchers, hi. Here's the deal. This is the Fetch Season 5 grand finale. We're gonna have a series of elimination rounds today that will determine who is going to be crowned the new Fetch Grand Champion. <laughs> but if we don't reach Purr's headquarters and find the Golden Fetchy brainwashing device, the entire world is going to be turned into mindless cat zombies. Now cats hate getting wet. And that's why Purr's headquarters is hidden in a water park. It's the last place anybody would look. So we've got the headquarters on our radar. What, Blossom? Purr's headquarters is protected by invisible force field security walls. And the first one's near a pool of sharks. Oh, 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 oh wait, they're plastic. Don't worry, Uncle Wuff. I'll deactivate the walls remotely using my incredible computer know-how. That's great. So, have you done it yet? No. How about now? Uncle Wuff, give me a minute. In that case, let's go over the standings. Yeah! She's in the lead, and that's how she likes it. Ruby! Yeah! Right behind her, in second place, it's Emmy! Yeah! She can taste victory! In third place, Shreya! Yeah! Who's coming up fast? In fourth place, it's Mark! Yeah! In fifth place, there's a fetcher who doesn't know how to quit! Jay! Yeah! Yeah! And don't call sixth place last place. Call it the launching pad to victory! Marco! I can't deactivate the force fields! Ruffity Grandma, have them use the clapper board, dear. The clapper board? It's one of the fabulous four game show relics and secret spy equipment pieces. Wait, I can use the stuff from Game Show Island to break into Purr's headquarters? The fabulous four Game Show Island relics have the power to break through any force field. And you can also use them to make a pretty nifty finale competition while you're at it. Just a suggestion. Okay, according to our radar, there's a cat scratching post near the bottom of the dive bog and slide. I'll put the fabulous four clapper board on the scratching post. We're gonna have a race to the clapper board. Marco, Jay, since you're in sixth and fifth place, the two of you are going head to head in elimination round number one, the slide race spectacular. All right. The two of you must race to the triple giant slides, plummet down the dive boggin, jump the ferocious uh, sharks, and clap the clapper board. The first to clap the clapper board will not only move on to the next round, they'll hopefully deactivate the first force field. On your marks, get set, go! There they go! Up the triple slide, Marco Green and Jay Pink. Oh, they're both flying! Looks like Jay's winning! But wait, wait! Marco's catching up! Jay and Marco are on the dive bucket! And down the stretch they come! This is gonna be close, people! There's the plastic shark! Marco's jumping over it! Jay's right behind him! And it's gonna be... Marco! The first force field is down, yes! Marco, congratulations! You will face Mark in the next elimination round. And Jay... I want everyone to see how incredible you were this season. All right. Blossom, roll the tape. You're gonna be on fetch! I'm hyperventilating. Let's go! Let's go! Run! Yee-haw! Here we go!
Vegas, huh? Oh! You know, you really can't get to Hawaii Shit. from a train. Oh, Jay! That was pretty awesome. Rough, dear. You can't just send Jay away. I can't? There's no telling what cat spies are lurking nearby. You'd be putting Jay in danger. Yeah, yeah, I get to stay. Uncle Waff, I have found another force field. It's near the Tahiti Tree House. Whoa! What do we do now? I don't know, but we have to hurry. Time's a ticking. That's it. We'll use the Fabulous Four timer to deactivate the force field. Yeah. Let's go. There's no time to waste. Come on, guys. Yeah. That amazing waterfall is part of elimination round number two. Yeah. Mark, Marco. When the Fabulous Four timer gets turned over, each of you will have to find 15 cups. Blue cups for Mark, red cups for Marco. The first one to stack their 15 cups into a pyramid on one of those tables before the timer runs out will be the winner and move on to elimination round number three. And one more thing, your cup tower needs to stand for at least three seconds. All right, Rob. Then ready, set, go! Huh, oh, they've already found some cups. Okay, that's six. Mark better be careful. Marco has one more cup to find. How's Mark doing? How many does he have? 14. Oh, you only need one more. Oh, so does Marco. Oh, there it is. I got it. He's got 15. He can begin stacking. Oh. Now Mark has found his cup. We are dead even people. And here comes the waterfall. Oh. Now they begin the building process. Marco's going. Ooh, but Mark is very fast. He only needs a few more. One, two, no, oh no! It didn't stand for three seconds! Now Marco's tower is almost done! Will his hold? One, two, three! Marco wins! And look, Uncle Wap, the second boss field is down! <laughs> Marco, you've made it to the next round! Yeah! Well, Mark, my man, it wouldn't have been the same without you. You made us laugh and uh... Now you're making me cry. Ah, Blossom, roll the tape. <sighs> you're going to be on fetch. Hello? Oh, is that squid? What's wrong? My life's a great time. Oh, great oh, time. Do I really have to do this? You guys ever had dreams you could fly? <laughs> Don't go anywhere, Mark. We've knocked down the two force fields. Where do we go now? It appears the entrance to Poe's headquarters is straight ahead. Well, that says authorized personnel only. That looks like a normal door. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. By order of PERS. By order of PERS? Are you kidding me? They actually put their name on their secret headquarters? All right, guys. Let's open the door. Let me be careful. It could be booby-trapped. Yeah, it's locked. It's locked. Oh, use the fabulous four buzzer. Just stick it right on the door and push it. It neutralizes any lock. No. Yes, it worked. What? Oh hey. my. What oh is that? Crazy. Go get it. This is, this like is first oh headquarters. Yeah. It looks like Studio G. It says Studio P. It's crazy. Studio P? Studio Purs. They copied my studio, except they made it pink. Yeah. Yeah. You guys look like you're a little hot in those wetsuits. Yeah. I think maybe you should get them off. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. Hey, somebody's knocking on my door. <gasps> Tom and Trixie from Go Get It! What are you doing here? Chad, don't try to get their autographs. There's no time to explain. We're here to help. Oh, really? Hey, Fetchers, look who just infiltrated my doghouse. Hello. Oh, hey. Are they okay? I don't know. You gotta trust us. Look, up there on the wall. The Golden Fetchy brainwashing device. The Golden Fetchy's gonna go off as soon as Go Get It airs. And that's just minutes away. Kids, you see that big button with the X? Yeah. yeah. That's an off button. But you can't press it with your hands because you'll get shocked. There's electricity running through it. Oh, no. Guys, you'll have to build a projectile launching device. You need to shoot something at that off button. Wait a minute, what are they gonna build the devices with? Look, there's two bins over by the bookshelf. You should have all the materials you need. And behind the picture of the grand champion, there's a force plate. Test your devices on that. So they'll test their launchers on the force plate, and the team with the stronger launching device will use it on the fetchy. Uh, Jay and Mark, you go over to the uh, feline fiesta bill. Ah, take a load off, gentlemen. 
Marco, Shreya, Emmy, Ruby. You'll split into two teams. The team that gets a higher number on the force plate monitor will get to use their device to knock out the brainwasher. If you're successful, and you've prevented the audience from thinking they're cats, then the winning twosome will go head to head in the fetch final face off. Oh yeah. uh, except you mean the go get it grand grilling. Fine, grand grilling. All right, let's do this. We've got a randomizer with pink and blue paper balls. We're gonna choose your teams randomly. Okay, Emmy. Looks like you're on the blue team. Yay! Yay. Ruby, you are on the pink team. Yes. All right. Marco, you're on the blue team. Yes. And that means, Shreya, you're on the pink team with Ruby. Yes. Yes. I can't believe I'm gonna say this. Go get it. Oh, oh that just felt wrong. Let's see what materials we have. PVC pipe. We have tape. Hands. A ball. We have a lot of different. So I guess we need to have something that has a lot of force that kind of projects. What about like a catapult? What does a catapult need? We have a base. base. What do you think we could use for the base? You want to just use the box? Yeah. And then we have a lever. Right. Oh, this would be a good, that would be a really good arm. And we could use like a bungee cord for tension. Tension, that's a stretching force. The more they stretch the bungee, the more force it has to push the ball. We attach a bungee cord to this part, and we bring it to something in front so there's tension in front. That's, that's clever. It'll snap forward. And we need a brake coming up here to just stop it. And then all we have to do is connect it to the base. Looks like a solid design to me. And all we need to do is create the tension in the front. Yes, tape that really tightly. Oh, <gasps> Ruby, you're a genius. Here comes tension. I think it looks something like a slingshot. So if it was like a slingshot, we'd have a line going around, and you'd put something right there, and you'd pull back, and then you'd shoot it. So, crazy tape action time. Okay. Awesome. When we pull it back like this, we're like storing up potential energy. Okay. And then when we let it go, it becomes kinetic energy and pushes the ball. We learned about those when Jay and Ruby made their kinetic sculpture. The energy to make something move has to come from somewhere like from the tension in the stretched rubber hose. And then we can test it after this to see yeah. if it works. That's right. They have to test their idea to see if it works or it's back to the drawing board. So we can use those tin foil trays as the target. Go. That was sick. <laughs> ah, just missed. Ah. All right, let's try again. Whoa, Whoa. that Holy thing man. took off. So there's a lot of force. I'm just scared we're not going to be able to hit it. There's a lot of force, but not a lot of accuracy. So what if we kind of recreated this concept into more of a bow and arrow kind of thing? Something more compact, easier to right. aim. Okay, so back to the drawing board from Marco and Emmy. They want a design that still uses something stretchy for energy, but is easier to aim. If we put like this smaller tube in here, mm -hmm. we take like this rubber band and attach like a little bit of it to here, stick the ball in there, and then this tube will hit that ball, the okay, ball. Okay, let's see if the other team is testing their launching device. Heads up, everybody. Heads up. Ooh. Okay, it needs to go higher. I think it just needs to be taller. Maybe we can ask if we can use their box. What's can up? we use that? You may. Oh, look at that. They're getting their catapult to shoot higher by putting a bin under it. We need to address the brake arm so that it's further forward. Another way to make the ball launch higher is to move the brake so that it stops the spoon earlier. It works! Yeah. Now for Marco and Emmy. Ready? No! Oh, yes, no, no, no. this works too! Okay, both teams have successfully designed and built a projectile launching device. We will now test those devices for force and accuracy. Each team gets two tries against the force plate. It looks like this measures the force in something called Newtons. The team with the most powerful launching device will then knock out the golden fetchy brainwasher and save the world! Our champions will then move on to the grand grilling! Blue team, you're up! Remember, the fate of millions is in your hands! Everyone take cover? No pressure. Nice! 32 units. Loaded. Second attempt. Loading. Whoa! Oh, 36! Now we will reset for the pink team. Okay, go. What happened? Nine. Nine. Shoot. Attempt number two. Yes. 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 Thirteen. Wow, they only got thirteen. 
But that means for the reading of 36 Newtons, Team Blue, Marco and Emmy, you have won the round! Good job, guys! Yay! 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 Like we fell, like we were down, our ball of yarn was all unwound. Ah! So the Go get it started! Quick, Marco and Emmy, you use your device, hit the off button! Yeah. All of us thinking we're cats? But you guys are cats. Are we? What Tom's trying to say is... We're actually your parents! What? 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 Hello, son! Mom? Pop? I'm so confused! Well, it's simple, Ruffy. Your parents are spies! Recruited to work undercover at Purrs. When we learned their master plan to turn the world into cat zombies, we had to contact you. We knew when the time came we would need the help of you and your fetchers. So what do you say? I bet a hug for your old man. Oh, come on. Daddy! <laughs> Dad, I wanted this for so long. Mom, I, wow, wait a minute. Hang on, it's Henry Hotline, it's my boss. Yes, Henry. Am I going to find a fetch grand champion? Well, you bet I am. I'm oh, sorry, Mom and Dad. It's time for me to get to the final round. Yeah! But before we begin the grand grilling, Shreya, Studio G will never be the same without you. Oh, or, wow. or Studio P, really. Blossom, press the button. You are going to be a fetcher. Oh my gosh! Shreya, Shreya. Go! Rock the things I do for you. Oh, right now, he must be howling at the moon. Oh my gosh! Oh, Jeff. Hook. I've busted the mustard. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh. Ruby, here's your video. I hope you like it. Oh, Ruby. <laughs> and now, live from Las Vegas, Nevada, Ruby. Rock, my best friend. What? What's up? Oh. Ruby, look at Shadow. Oh. You want to see a magic trick? Sure. This is really cool. But good. I that's don't a know. good start. The really cool part. <laughs> yeah. At least you guys can sit back and relax in Feline Fiesta Bill. Yeah. Yes, we will. And now, the Go Get It Grand Grilling. Yeah. In order for your answer to count, you have to light the gnomes of the. Wait, what are those? The Cats of Cleverness. Catchy. Emmy, you are in the lead with 1,306 points. Marco, you are only 41 points behind with 1,265 points. Each correct trivia answer is worth 100 points. Whoever has more points at the end of the face-off will be crowned the Fetch Grand Champion! Yeah! Good luck. Good luck. Let the grand grilling questions begin! One fetcher's name begins with a vowel. Name that vowel. Emmy. Um, Emmy. E. That's correct. <laughs> what did the sarcophagus say in the Egypt challenge? Marco. It said, I'll send an address, 353 Broadway Ave. Incorrect. <laughs> I was looking for 186 Brookline. Which of my relatives owned a mansion? Emmy. Maximilian Ruffin. That's correct. Yeah. What controls the ocean's tides? Emmy. The moon. That's correct. Yeah. There are eight primary directions on a compass, starting with north and proceeding counterclockwise. Marco! Marco, you buzzed in. I, I can't finish the question. You, you're going to have to answer. I thought you were going to ask what they are, and I was going to say north, northwest, west, south, west, south, <laughs> southeast, east, and northeast. That's correct! Oh, my God! What do private investigators frequently use to look up records of old newspapers? It was the thing that went flippy, flippy, flippy. <laughs> something better than that. I was looking for microfilm. Microfilm! This next one is a scrambler. You've been there and it is three words. Okay. Um. Emmy. Game Show Island? Yeah! Oh! Whose voice is this? In this room are lockers that contain everything you need. Oh, I know it. Marco! It's your father! That's right! 
What does the gardener use to trim the hedges of Ruffman Manor? Emmy. The nail clippers. Correct. Last question. Who said this? This is called a microfilm or a microfiche. Marco. It was Michelle. That is correct. <laughs> Emmy, you are in the lead with 1,806 points. Marco, wow. you have 1,565 points. You are 241 points behind. <gasps> no. Fetchers, you have a piece of foil, tape, a pair of scissors, and a straw. When I say go, each of you will make a boat designed to hold as many candies as possible. Each candy will be worth 50 points. Yeah! Marco, because you trail by 241 points, your boat will need to hold five more candies than Emmy in order to be crowned Fetch Grand Champion. Okay. Let's build a boat! Come on, let's go, Fetch us go! All right, Fetchers, are we ready to descend the boats into the water? Yes. 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 Then descend. Emmy, you are in the lead. You get to put the first piece of candy into your boat. One. Marco. One. Each has one. Two. Two. Two, okay. 19. 20. 20. Okay, we're even at 20, the boats are still floating. 80. Oh my 80. Gosh. 100. 100. 100. 129. 129. 130. 130. Oh! 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 Wait! Wait! You have to have five more, Marco. Go. 131. OK. 132. Oh, 133. Oh! 134. 135. Yeah! That's it! We are the Fetch Grand Champion! It's in the mailbox, young man. Go ahead and get your glossy. It's a good picture, dude. <laughs> Emmy, you were just an amazing fetcher, Emmy. Oh, thanks, Sean. This whole swashbuckling beef jerky in a sarcophagus and purrs the feet and sees it. Oh, that's just roll the tape around. Roll it, roll it. You're going to be a fetcher. Whoa, you really? see anything? Oh, oh, cheese is kind of my passion. I can't believe I just made that. <laughs> Elvis! Elvis! Yeah, that's right. There's the yellow warbler. The only way you're gonna be able to get there is by horseback. Really? You finally get it to go? Oh. Emmy! Marco! Champion highlights for you, buddy. Roll tape! I'm gonna be on fetch? Yes! Sweet! Ruff, it's a horrible idea for you to get an elephant. Ruff, we look ridiculous. Hey, Marco! You wanna help us brush teeth today? Yeah. That was the coolest thing I think I've ever done. <laughs> oh Just now, it's time for the grand prize, right, Ralph? Yes. Um. Oh no! Don't tell me you forgot to get a grand prize. Well. It's been a really busy season. Again? Okay, it's okay, Ralph. Come on. Not to worry, Marco. Ralph, my boy, you should always have a remote-controlled hot air balloon handy. Whoa! Look at that. It's there it is. Go get it, Marco. It's holding something. Wait a minute. How about it, son? The golden fetchy belongs to Marco. Oh, like Check out what it says. And there's something else, too. From the desk of Wink and Dana Ruffman. Well, it's been quite a ride. So for helping us save the world, we're giving you quite a ride. A hot air balloon trip for all six fetchers. What? Wow, a hot air balloon ride for everybody. That is so awesome. Oh! And so ends another season of Fetch with Ruff Ruffman. Fetchers, I love you guys. And I love you guys too. Hug. I just have one question. What does this do? Ah, the golden microphone. It makes any singing voice sound great. Have at it, son. Our fun has just begun, but it's time to say goodbye. From all the Ruffman clan, we're signing off, but it is tough. Just remember, your canine friend, Ruff. Wow, this
This made me sound great, didn't it? Uh, actually, I think it's broken. Ow. Hey, you want to learn more about what you saw today? Let's dig a little deeper. Let's see what materials we have. Here's more vinegar, info about vinegar, launching vinegar. projectiles. Okay, so you know how baking soda and vinegar together create a chemical reaction? Yes. We could shake this up with the baking soda and the vinegar, which would shoot this out. Hmm. A chemical oh. reaction is another way to turn potential energy into kinetic energy. It would also make a huge mess. Yes! Yes! And if you want to dig even deeper, go to PBS King.